overcame death not so long ago. Your mind could use a moment of ease. Compared to others here, I'm great. Istvan is tense and aggressive. Laura's depressed. Just this morning, Slava had a panic attack. Dog, I had a near-death experience. I'm fine. True winter does that to people. The wind howls threats, and the constant shadow of the dome highlights our isolation. The atmosphere simply takes its toll. Hold up a second! Hold up a second to this whole bottle episode situation that we got here with like 10 other characters. Um, I'm starting to think that the people who stayed in the winter are not the people that didn't want to leave or had something important to do. I'm starting to think that the people who all stayed here stayed for the secrets. Like, all of the most like drama-ridden people are the ones that are here. That's what I think. I think they ask for this. They want to like just loathe in each other's misery together. That they get excited for the winter to come so that they can just mope and be sad together. I would I would believe that. A whole bunch of just all of them super gossipy. Every single one of them. Let's look at the list. Let's look at the list of uh just all the gossipy bitches in this place. Istvan, king. King of the gossipy bitches. Kasaya, absolutely. Laura, yup. Lev, uh-huh. Constance, oh yeah, of course he is. Sem, not at all. He's the only one. He's the only good boy in this whole place. I don't, well, maybe. I mean, no, he, I think he's actually, I don't think he's got secrets. Well, he, he definitely has secrets, but like, he's not looking for trouble. He actually legitimately is the only, only motherfucker here that wants to just be alone and with dogs. Everyone else here? Gossipy bitches, all of them. Every guy, every girl here. Yakone, Slava especially. Yakone thinks she's all above it and stuff, but she's not. She's not at all. I love it. I love it. I love all these horrible people. I've been thinking about this whole like bottle episode thing for a while, and I'm like, you know, you know, it's kind of like hot fuzz where I'm like, I know all these people are in on this whole situation. And now it's just about figuring out how. No wonder it's been wearing her down. Yeah, can we uh, tell Yanni the story about Lev? I only know what everyone does. They came here happy together. As Lev's fascination with Kala grew and finally got the better of him, Slava learned how to survive. Actually, a doctor once thought these waters could heal Slava's husband. Lev had many sessions with oils, massages, even inhaling the steam to no avail. Quackery seems to be uh, popular in this parts. I assume these waters can't really heal. I saw no change in Lev, sadly. But if you want to make sure, ask Sem. Lev visited him frequently, so... Oh! And there she goes. I knew it! I knew it! She's pulling some shady business. Uh, ma'am, your nose is bleeding really badly. It's also, like, super humid in here. And that kind of stuff, like, tears blood vessels in your nose. So, it seems normal. I'm fine, I'm fine. I just need to lie down for a moment. I'm certain it's nothing. I just got a bit dizzy. Please, feel free to stay for as long as you like. Although, it looks gross. She looks really gross. I don't like it. I hope she's alright. I'll have to check up on her in a while. No, we won't. Now, about these hot springs. <laughs> Moving on. Miraculous or not, they may be worth examining. I should take a sample and analyze it the best I can. Or better yet, make use of Gallon's equipment and expert knowledge. Then again, I'm not sure if I can trust anyone in this city yet. Giving my proceedings to myself might be a better way to go. Ah, choices, choices! Whoever is going to make these choices for me? Oh, it's, it's this guy. So, are we gonna hang out by ourselves or with Gallon? Uh... Definitely with Gallon. I want to keep the kids together. Those overconfident are bound to fail in the end. I need to know my strengths and weaknesses. Asking for Gallon's help seems like a reasonable idea. I want to put them back together because I want both of our outsiders to just chill together and like figure out this mystery together, hopefully. Let's return here with the good doctor and a vial of water. For now, Probably go see that Sem person Constance mentioned. We just left Constance. Yeah! Our good fluffy dog boy. I hope they won't bite. That depends who are you. Um, right. Hello. Yes, I am Yanni. I am the city's new technician. Good day, Yanni. 
I'm afraid there's nothing for you to fix in the kennels. Yet, here I am. You are Sem, right? That's what they call me. Why are you here if it's not about maintenance? People don't visit me very often. I can't say I have many regrets about him. Is this dude into us? This dude might be into us. Oh, I can read that. Wasn't Lev a frequent guest? So that's what this is about. In a way, you could say he was. Uh, elaborate, please. I've noticed people in this city have this weird habit of holding on to everything they know as if it was their dearest treasure. He wasn't my guest. He came here because of the dogs. Oh, I thought you were friends, or at least on friendly terms. People assume that we were because we both shun company, but that's where the similarities end. I see. You two must have spoken at least occasionally. I told you neither of us is a people person. I'm a dog person. He's a lost in himself person. Still, you've spent hours with him. You must know something that could help me find him. What should I ask about? What did he do when he was here? Lev came here often. If he didn't speak, what did he do? He just played with the dogs? Pretty much. He got them tired, loosened their discipline, encouraged them to jump, tug, and fetch things. The dogs lacked it. I wasn't a fan. Why did you allow it? You must have heard stories about Lev. He's obsessed with an idea. Spoke mostly to himself. More babbled, I should say. With the dogs, he calmed down. It seemed almost normal. He was as happy as Lev could get nowadays. I didn't like it, but denying him those bits of sanity would have been cruel. Aw, Sam has a, is a sweetheart. Sam is nice. I see. Do you remember anything else that could help me find him? Why don't you just wait for him to come back? I heard it's been almost two weeks since he went missing. His wife is worried, please. I saw him ten days ago as I was walking my dogs. He was uh, less coherent than usual. No wonder though, it looked as if he'd been run over by a sleigh. It didn't occur to you to help him? Would you let me finish? Lev came from Gallon's greenhouse. I assumed the doctor wouldn't let him go if there was any real danger. But you said he wasn't lucid. As usual in his case, he looked badly beaten, but my main worry was the dogs. Lev's a bad influence on him. He even taught them to lie. <laughs> Sam is dramatic! It's everybody! Every single one of them is a drama queen. Lie? But why would the dogs lie? Yeah, they've become outright deceptive. I'm just raising a whole kennel full of Decepticons. Ha, I didn't initially peg you as someone to be fooled by a madman trained puppy. Please, stop making that face. I'm, I'm just playing with you. Your dogs seem to like it though. They're not mine. I take care of them, but they belong to the families. And of course, they like to live. Just as children like the grandparent who spoils them. I can see it's a sensitive issue for you. Lev didn't understand them. He harmed the pack. It drove me mad. When he was away, my work was much easier. I have people like that in my life. I have like students at my middle school where it's like, gosh, I love them and I'm going to I'm going to let them, you know, survive middle school by letting them get away with stuff, but gosh, they make my job harder. <laughs> cool. Some claimed he was the last person to see Lev. I don't think there's anyone more, because I thought we were the last person, or Gallon was the last person to see Lev. Turns out, Sem was. So forgive me if I'm not helpful. I don't pay much attention to what happens outside of my kennels, and I'd rather not get involved, so take your investigation elsewhere. Wait, wait. Uh, let's flatter him. Please, let's flatter him. I don't believe you don't care about Lev. Judging by how you treat these dogs, there's a compassionate human being somewhere in there. <laughs> this is already a bad idea. I already know. Yanny, we've gone down the wrong route here. I care about dogs, not people. People are more trouble than they're worth. These dogs are magnificent. I can see why you value them so much. But a bond with another human is irreplaceable. For example, I'd choose your company over theirs anytime. Ding! 
Give me that, give me that ding. I'm flattered, but you are unwise. Why? I prefer to spend my time with someone I can talk to? Animals communicate only with their most, most basic needs. People lie and misinterpret each other's intentions. In contrast, building a bond with a dog is simple. You be patient and honest. With humans, there's numerous ways to fail before you get even a base agreement. Not worth the trouble. So you're not good at making friends, is that it? I'm speaking to you, aren't I? Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think I'm doing fine. Not too bad. I mean, it's only been a few minutes. I dare you to handle an entire evening. A tempting prospect, but I don't think I'd dare just yet. Not the bravest in the pack, are you? Fine, I'll let you off the hook. If you tell me something that'll help me. Very well. This may sound strange, but the night Lev disappeared, the dogs were wary. What do you mean? They were restless, howling the whole night. It's nothing unusual as we get closer to the winter solstice. That night, the pack was beside itself. I don't know why, but maybe that'll help. I don't mean to be rude, but it's feeding time. Routine is important to the dogs. Yeah, they sound like they're getting hungry out there. Okay, so nature was disturbed and the night Lev disappeared. And this happened the same time the solstice drew near. Solstice! Good, 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 good. Okay, nice. I see, I've gotten used to it. I'll let myself out. But uh, one more thing before I go. Why did you give up on people? Let's let's keep pressing on this boy because I want to I want to put him and Yanni together. Why did you give up on people? Why why is the why is why are you so cruel? Why you gotta be so cold? Who says I did? You chose these dogs' company over man's. I can understand keeping away from people. Most aren't worth the effort, but some of us honestly wish well. If you ever need any help, all you need to do is ask. That's kind of you. You assume someone has harmed me, though. It's sweet you see me more as a victim than a perpetrator. S sweet? I mean, I merely want to let you know you have nothing to worry about from me. <laughs> has it ever occurred to you that I might be the one to worry about? <laughs> um, I'm glad that we get to give Sam his, like, big, Miss Big Dog moment. But, uh, no, he is, uh... He's harmless. I've done enough to consider being isolated from people a good idea because I can't harm them. That's why you're solitary? Because you hurt someone? Or because people ask stupid questions? Goodbye, Yanni. Ha! Ha <laughs> ha! We see what you did there, dog. Uh, see you soon, dude. Duders. We're gonna see him soon. We're gonna see him soon. We're gonna see him very, very soon. That was nice. That was that went really well. I want Sem and Yanni to, to to work more together. I think they'd make a very good team. When I heard Slava's frightened voice speaking with Gallon, I didn't think she would run such a successful business. It's so lively in here. Back home, places like this were cultural centers. Here, I'll probably be lucky if I get some beer and greasy food. Hello, Yanni. Nice to see you're back to health. Pardon me, do we know each other? I keep... this keeps happening. How many newcomers do you think we get during the dead season? I'm Slava. I'm sorry I can't greet you properly, but we're pretty crowded tonight. And my kitchen staff is left for the true winner. I need to make sure there's enough stew and beer for everyone. Oh, hey, don't worry about it. it smells enough to make me feel welcome. Food tastes better when you enjoy it in the company of others. Pick a table to join. I'll bring you uh, something to eat in a minute. Very well, alright. There's a free spot at Laura's table, though we might have gotten off on the wrong foot. I think Slava was sitting with Laura as well. I haven't had the chance to speak to her about her husband yet, so maybe now's a good time? Then there's a second free stool right there next to... That's the caravan driver. I think she's drinking with the captain of the guard. I owe her my thanks, and it might be interesting to hear her thoughts. Oh, oh, this is the hardest choice of them all. Do I spend my night with doing the good work that I'm supposed to be doing and trying to solve mysteries, except that every time I try to solve mysteries, I end up getting deeper into worse and worse mysteries? Or 
do we hang out with the cool kids? Do we go sit at the cool kids table and party? Um, I gotta go. I gotta go with that second one. I think that's the one we gotta do. Let's go hang out with the cool kids. Hey, cool kids. You must be Yacone, the caravan driver. Thank you. Thank you, by the way, for saving my life. What for? This is, you saved my life when you found me in the snow. I owe you so much more than thanks, but we'll just start with that. Oh. You owe me nothing, and contrary to what those idiots in the tribe would say, I'm not responsible for you. Aren't you from the tribes? You dress after their fashion. Yakone's in the, her rebellious stage. Young, brilliant, and ready to attack anything you say. That's a load of crap. See? See? Right there. Have you met Kasaya the Wise already? He's the head of the town's guard. He should protect us, but instead he prefers to ridicule. Forces help us. If he's a, as good with a sword as he is with a joke. I see you have quite a battle going on here. It's our way of killing time. Instead of each other. It's nice to finally meet you, Yanni. Have a beer with us. Best brew ended last week, but this'll do. At night, the winds sing louder and the dome hums a tune. As the snow grows thicker on the walls, it soaks up more and more of our hope. So that's nice. We gather and drink to return to warmth and wait for the tides to turn after solstice passes. You can feel the mood already, can't you? Hmm. Never been good at small talk. Uh... Anything new in life? No! <laughs> no, we can't talk about work. It's not work time. How did you end up here? How come you chose to get locked up in here? Oh, okay, that's rich. That's a question you never ask in this city. Well, screwed it up in one shot. Nice, nice job, Solon. Plans for the future? Sure, sure. One can always lie or get all dreamy. The present? Nice to gossip and debate. But what compelled someone to sign a compact? That story is usually painful, sometimes even shameful. Oh, that's right, because all the people in the city are, are basically forced on compact to be here. Um, crap, whoops. I keep forgetting that little detail. Kind of important. Don't be. Only cowards are ashamed of their choices. I came here on an assignment. I saw how strong and efficient the city was. It was my own decision to shun the teachings of my tribe and learn from those who had more to offer. Nature intended the strong to win. I see no shame in surviving. Hey, that was the same line that Gallon sent in with Yakone. Nice. Nice. Do you regret that decision? Even a little bit? She won't admit it, but she does. I've seen you stare at the western snow when you think no one's looking, Yakone. Stop your nonsense, Kasaya. I suppose you consider yourself wise. Good thing your word doesn't matter here. Luckily, it still matters more than yours. You can only give voice to brutal force. I told you, the tyranny of the fittest is never a good idea. Hey, someone who's going against Gallon and Yacone. Good, good, good. Oh? Who should have a say then? Those crazy bastards obsessing over Kala. Locals are no better. They want magic to guide them. It's just weakness wrapped in superstition. You can't know that for sure. Are you blind? Even the mystical Kala was created by the families. They had the means to force most citizens into obedience, but some had still resisted. And this was their solution. I love that, like, Yanni is right here just like, um... I don't really know what you guys are talking about. <laughs> okay. A myth to give hope, an idea to distract the wisest from feeding their ideas to the crowd. It motivated, addicted, gave purpose. A tool crafted out of empty tales. That's an interesting theory. That's just one theory. Your tribes believe Gal is real, Yacone. The force of nature, they say. Some scholars even claim it's a crystal with unusual properties. I also heard an herbalist saying Cal is nothing more than but a word conveying huge power to those who know how to unlock it. You don't truly believe in plausible tales, do you? Such things do not exist. Tell them. Uh, I don't know. I have, a, I have little knowledge on this. I don't know what any y'all are talking about. You do have an opinion, don't you? There is no truth in the tales. Anything is possible. Um, yeah, where do we want to mold Yanni? 
let's also be super skeptical. I'm sorry, I have yet to see proof of anything out of this world. When humans call something magic, it's usually a completely natural phenomenon. We simply haven't researched enough. Thank you. Finally, a voice of reason. People shield themselves from uncomfortable truths with stories. Just look at Laura over there holding her fate cards. Or take Istvan. He turned a deaf ear to this nonsense all his life. But now that his power is lost, he's following an astrologer's advice and redecorating everything? What does that mean? Istvan's reading old manuscripts and seeking knowledge. You could take a page from his book. I could also take his marbles as he doesn't use them. Not since he lost his influence. I thought Istvan was effectively in charge here. What happened? He's retired. You see, positions of power within the families are high risk. Not many live to Istvan's age. Even fewer rule that long and resign of their own will. So there's no protocol for Istvan's position. I don't think he ever really thought about losing power, and so now he's suffering. He's following in Lev's footsteps, if you ask me. Istvan still has his wealth. It was the only. Th uh, it was only after we thought Lev lost everything that he proved us wrong and lost his mind. Yeah, what's Lev's tale? So he is a rich person. That's why he was able to go freely to the, the bank areas. He's a respected professor who read one book on Kala too many. So someone with a trained mind and a vast knowledge of the subject believed Kala was real after all. Kala is an obsession, a disease some are prone to. And what you're doing seems awfully simil similar. Curiosity about Kala, I'm steering conversations toward it. Are you feeling well, Yanni? I get it. Let's not ask questions. Why don't we remain in the Stone Age? While we're at it, fine. I'll drop the subject for now. Good. Let's focus on something more important. Drinking! Cheers to that. And we all got wasted. Nice. Well, that was an evening to remember. <laughs> I'll see you all in the morning. Speaking of seeing you all in the morning, I'll see you all next time. We're gonna increase the mysteries. Did we? We increased a lot of mysteries today. But we actually solved some. We solved Yanni and what her whole situation is. We know what she's doing here. Uh, at least, you know, maybe 70% of it, 60% of it, 50% of it. We know who she is, what her role in the city is supposed to be, and what she's trying to leverage that role in the city to do, what she's trying to accomplish, figure out the death of this uh, previous contractor who came to the city to do this maintenance gig. Very interesting. We actually legitimately solved something today. Uh, on top of that, and then immediately after that, a bazillion other things fell out from underneath us. Um, but we're gonna get into a relationship with Sem. Sem, our boy here. <laughs> I want the nice wolf boy to hang out with me and to uh, make small talk with me. And I wanna open up his heart. That's the goal. That's the goal now. <laughs> All right, so I love you guys, and I'll see you next time for more RDLP and for more Solstice.